welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Tim. Today we're going to do our walk around video from of our 2009 Hummer H3. In this video we're going to walk around the outside of the car, explore the quality of the paintwork as well as the car itself. We'll also go through its features, a little bit of history about the car and we'll look at the interior as well. So first thing that really stands out on this car is its really big chrome finish. Now these chrome things were extra on the car and it is a really nice uh, contrast against the black paintwork. So we'll have a quick look around here to see if we can notice any imperfections in the chrome. There's a couple of very tiny little stone chips that I'm finding but on a car of this, well, of this sort of uh, size you'd be surprised if there weren't any at all but the stone chips are only minor. You can see we've got this massive headlight as well as quite a large fog light here and these very strong recovery points on the front were also an option for this model. Now this is a luxury so it does have a leather interior but I'll cover that more off later. So the, with the Hummers they, they are known for their awesome off-road capabilities. So what I've done because this is an American made car and they speak in inches and that can be a bit hard to visualize is I've actually got the measuring tape to sort of uh, explain a little bit more about this car. So with this car's clearance, it is actually capable of uh, climbing 16 inch vertical walls or obstacles. So that would be approximately straight line of this, straight up, it can climb easily. Obviously, if there's a bit of an angle to it, it can co uh, cover a much bigger obstacle. The other thing this car is capable of doing from factory is it is able of water fording up to 24 inches which is this high which from the front with these aftermarket wheels it doesn't look as impressive but as we go down the side I'll show you it actually does come up above the bottom of the door which means that this car is sealed very well which is a very big advantage for a car like this. Now keeping with the theme of aftermarket, uh, not aftermarket but um, the, the chrome added to it all to this car, this car does have awesome really shiny 24 inch rims with low profile tires. This car also does have its stock wheels with it which will be sold with the car as well. Now with a big American off-road cars one thing that is very common is this plastic here that goes around the wheel and what this does is it actually protects the rest of the paintwork from stone chips and that flying off from the road and road debris. You find a lot of American made cars and it does its job quite well. You've got chrome side mirrors as well as a chrome weather shield here. Just chrome door handles, just the whole chrome side step. You can see chrome is a very big thing on this car. It does have roof rails up here and we do have the key for those as well. The paintwork itself on the side of the door is in very good condition. There's just a couple of very, very minor blemishes, but being a black car and a very sunny day, it will show up everything. There's a little bit of a stone chip down here, as well as a bit of touch up down here. And that's pretty much it for big, big, big marks on the side. Now these tyres are brand new tyres, so you won't have to worry about replacing these anytime soon, which is quite handy to know. Here you've got another chrome accenting coming up along the back of the car, as well as nice real tough. With Hummers, they, are, they do make cars for the military, so they are known for being quite tough. Very strong very strong cars and um, you've got recovery points on the back as well nice big chrome exhaust as well as a tow pack fitted this car will tow approximately two tons if we open up the back of the car here you'll find it's got a nice big opening and the door does open 90 degrees giving you full access to the back of the car in here we've got a carpet boot lining as well as rubber floor mats for inside the car. There are uh, tan floor mats as well to match the rest of the interior. As you can see the interior has got that, that nice cream colour to it which is a good contrast from the black on the outside and it's a very very good looking car. On the back on the inside of the door here you do have behind this little latch all of your tools in here and they got wrapped in a nice sort of foam as well to stop rattle so you actually don't hear them in the back of the car while you're driving along. Got your big spare wheel on the back, H3 badge. Now coming around the side, we got chrome once again, as well as a lockable chrome fuel cap. There is a little bit of some stone chip, it looks like, to that, that chrome, but it does match again with the rims, the side steps, the door handles, the weather shields, just, and the offsetting from the black. It's a very, very nice looking car. Brand new tire, no gutter rush on this wheel either, just a little bit of Yeah, it's just yeah, just a little bit of stone in there. 
a couple of stone chips here like I said it is black it will show up everything a little bit of a scratch uh, once again you get your plastic guard here tubular chrome side steps as well which will help people from getting into the vehicle uh, chrome mirror cap here nice offsetting chrome up the front here your h3 badge down towards the bottom mud guards plastic guard again once again protecting this panel here big chrome wheel brand new tire again so you won't have to worry about that and one last thing to point out on the front is you do have a vent up here to help with uh, with the heat inside the the engine bay which is very good when you're trying to, to do some extreme off-roading as well under the hood of this beast you'll find our five five cylinder 3.7 litre turbo diesel under here you've got your 180 kilowatts and 328 newton meters of torque behind this big beast of a car engine you have got your four speed gearbox and a four x four dual range system so this car does have electronic diff locks as an option and you can either select to be in four high or four low moving to the interior of this car being a luxury it does have a few extra features as well as all the leather in here which is a nice cream color to contrast against the black as well as i mentioned just before the uh the diff locks which i'll show you where that switch is as well so starting to my right, we've got an electronic adjuster for the, uh, the side mirrors, as well as full electric controls for all electric windows in the car, and a lock and unlock button for the doors, doors themselves. Now, just to the right of the steering wheel here, this is where you've got your settings for your, your fog lights, your headlights, you've got an auto setting as well, so you don't have to worry about running the battery down. And then on here as well, we've got uh, keys for the, the roof racks on top as well as central locking and two sets of each of those which comes in very handy as well. Being an American made car, you've actually got your indicator on the left here and as typical of a lot of American made cars, you've got your windscreen wipers and everything all on the same stalk. So you just tilt up and down for your indicator and then you just twist the back here which will use the, uh, the um, windscreen wipers. Just down here, you do have an old fashioned style uh, a handbrake. There's just a button, you press the button and you rotate the handle down and in it goes to release the parking brake or you just pull it straight out and the parking brake has been engaged. Now moving to the center here, over here you've got your four wheel drive control. So at the moment we're currently sitting in four high and we can actually engage the diff locks in four high or we can go into four load and engage diff locks as well. This car does have electronic control diff locks in the front and the rear, which was an option on this car at the time, making it a very formidable off-road machine. You've got your traction control here, as well as your CD player um, and radio controls just down here in the doubled-in style head unit here. Just down from that, we've got our air conditioner controls. Now, I've got it on three at the moment. It is quite hot today, so... But these are very big controls and very easy to use without diverting your attention away from the road. Here you've got your big, meaty auto transmission. Now, just like any other T-bar transmission, you just pop in the, uh, the, the button on the side and you pull it down into gear. And it actually tells you on the dash uh, whether you're in reverse drive, neutral, or one of the other gears. Just in front of that, you've got your two 12-volt sockets. Moving back from that, we've got two cup holders here in the center console, as well as a nice leather-wrapped center console. Now, if we open that up, We've got a nice little container here that we can put some things in and we can remove it for a much deeper storage. And in there we've got some Allen key tools and stuff like that which would have to do with the tools in the back and the, uh, the roof racks on top. Now as the driver pans around the car, I'm going to have a quick look at the books which are inside the glove box here. They do come in a nice leather pouch, or not leather pouch, a nice pouch. cycling through the books here. The car has done 50,000 Ks. And looking at service history here, we've got the first one done at 11, second at just under 21, 31, 42, and 50,600. And then we've also, um, we would have done another intermediate service as well. So the next service isn't due for another 10,000 kilometers on this car. Thanks for taking the time to watch our walk around video of our Hummer H3. Uh, reasons to buy this car is just look at it. It's very unique on the road. It's got that real nice, tough, 
Hummer styling that you only really get from, um, from these cars. As well as their built tough military heritage and their off-road capabilities, it is just an awesome car to own and you will stand out on the road. If you have any inquiries, please give us a call on 9907 and one of our staff will be happy to help.